Hello, welcome to Sonography Radiology Training Channel. In this video series, I will talk about vegetable and plant in expert science in radiology imaging. This is the first video in this video series about Christmas tree sign. What is the definition of Christmas tree sign? Apple peel intestinal atresia, also known as type 3B or Christmas tree intestinal atresia, is a rare form of a small bowel atresia which consists of proximal jejunal atresia with absence of distal superior mesenteric artery, shortening of the small bowel distal to the atresia and an absence of dorsal mesentery. This type of atresia is probably caused by pernatal occlusion of the superior mesentery artery distal to the origin of the middle click artery. The distal intestine spirals around its vascular supply giving the characteristic apple tree appearance. The result is a very short intestine with a propensity towards necrotizing and trochilitics. Now a case presentation, a full term female baby weighing 3 kg with an antenatal diagnosis of polyhydraminous and dilated bubble loops and had an abdominal x-ray. This infantrogram showing small bubble loops with dilated blind and abrupt cutoff of bubble gas. Large bubble is not seen in gas in the stomach and fewer loops of a small bubble are suggestive of a jejunal ideal atresia. In this gastrocrophin enema showing unused microcolon with second in subhepatic position. Dye is seen in loops of unused ileum which is bunched out in subhepatic region. These are the surgery images dilated loops of small bubble proximal to the atresia, seen loop around the mesenteric vessel forming an apple peel configuration. The bubble is dusky with black patch all over. An artery forceps initiating a free mesentery around which the small bubble is rotating. This image shows the apple peel configuration of the proximal dilated bubble loops. The granose patch are visible in dusky loop. In this image we can see apple peel configuration of the resected proximal gangrenous small bubble. While apple peel intestinal atresia is usually reported as an isolated malformation, it has been associated with mole rotation. Additionally, syndromic association has been reported with microcephaly and ocular anomalies. There is evidence that much one gene mutation may contribute to the disease's prevalence, unveiling the possibility of partially heredity pattern of pathology. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel. If you would like to get notification for the next videos, please press the small bell. If you have any question or video suggestion, please write in the comments. Thank you for your attention.